for the first time the club um, hopefully will make the playoffs. Uh, and I think it's important for the people, the supporters, the state of Odisha, because as you know, the government have, have, have invested a lot of uh, a lot of monies into into the into the infrastructure, and certainly wants to become the the state capital of sports uh, for for the country. And football is a, it plays a huge part in the, in the, in their investment. So from from a club's point of view. It's very important that we have the fans, we have the people of Odisha, whether you're football fans or not, come and support us tomorrow. Come and come to the Kalinga Stadium tomorrow. And I'm asking you, the media, you're the most powerful people here, to please help us and, uh, and rally up the people and, and, and get them here because it's important. Uh, we're here as custodians. That's all we are. And we're doing everything we can behind the scenes. The, the work that goes on behind the scenes, not just on the football pitch, but behind the scenes is immense. And I think they, they, these staff need deserve praise as well um, but as I said for tomorrow the strategy the coach knows the strategy the coach will make sure the team and the players are motivated I can tell you now they're motivated who wouldn't be motivated to be in the playoffs um, and, and then tomorrow I'm sure you know we have a fantastic record at the Kalinga Stadium and, uh, and I'm sure we'll be successful we probably have the best training ground facilities in India uh, in football terms we have several coaches that have that have made those comments. Uh, many of the coaches are from abroad, as you know. So when they when they come to the to the ground, not just the stadium, the football pitches are first class. Uh, we have the infrastructure here. We have the hotels. Um, we we have the we have everything that, that we require. And the government have been very very supportive, and we owe them a, a, a debt of gratitude for that. Since I've been here in in, in Odisha, Bubanisha, lovely people. The love you get from the from the from the state, everybody is, is is phenomenal. That's why people want to stay here. That's why the captain signed. I'm no different. I love the people. They've been so warm, but we're trying to do our best for them as well. And we want to be as custodians, I guess, make the people of uh, of Adisha proud. Yeah. Well, we're we're now working and collaborating with uh, with local NGOs. Uh, so we've uh, it will be. You'll see it probably in the next two three weeks developing. Um, it's something that we've been working on. It's taken time, admittedly. I can't reveal too many, much details. It would be remiss of me to go into detail because it's confidential, but I can tell you several players have contracts on the table. Uh, we're in negotiation with, with several players. Um, so it's football. Everything takes time. Um, and, uh, but as I said, within the next few weeks, you'll, you'll see the results of, of all the work that's going on behind the scenes. We are, we are trying to work with different companies and, and collaborate with them to, to, so we can have our banners. And, uh, uh, and as you've seen, probably at the beginning of the season we did, but then at the same time, there are various activities going on throughout the state, sports activities, so the banners come down. So we have to also be mindful of, uh, of budget. However, we are talking to two, three companies where we can work together and collaborate. And, and as I said, they, they can sponsor us, we'll sponsor them and have our name up. But it's a good question, though. We should have more banners up. I accept that. I'm not going to shy away from that. There's, there's various reasons. But at this moment in time, all I'm going to say is that we've got an opportunity now as a football club uh, for the state of Odisha to, to make history. And all I'm asking is just support us.